Hi everybody and welcome to another Jarrison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be taking a look at creating a backup. Once we've logged into Jarrison Time, we'll head over to the menu bar and click on action. After that, we'll click backup database. Here we have multiple options and in today's example, we are going to be looking at the standard JTime and the full system backup. So first, let's click on the standard JTime backup. Here we see the system is backing up and then zipping the files for us. After that, it will display a message telling us that the file has been zipped successfully and display the location where it has been saved to, as we see here. After that, we can click OK. Then heading back to action once again, we can then click Backup Database and click on Full System. Here we will see again the system then starts backing up and zipping all of the files for us. Once done, again, it is telling us that it is successful and displaying the location. We can then click on OK. Should you follow the backup location and open it up, we will find that the standard JTime backup gives us an INI file, a JTime database, and our current log file, where our full backup will then give us the INI file, as well as it will give us a supplementary database, the JTime database, and all of the log file databases. After that, we can go on working with Jarrison Time. That will be all for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.